Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Fascist Channel. On tonight's newscast, we have Walter, who has the lead story on tonight's newscast. Hello, and welcome to the Fascist Channel. We, the Italian people, know of Mussolini, but really don't know of how he rose into power. First, our savior was born in the small town of Predapio, Italy, to a poor, hardworking family. He moved schools many times as a child and fought for what was right in school till the bitter end. To do this, he may have had to stab some people. He was jailed many times to express his radical new ideas. Socialism had always been the center of his ideas, but using his intellectual knowledge, he knew we needed a dictator. This turned into fascism as we know it. A little later, we, the people, we, were angered over how unjust the Paris Peace Conference treated us. The land promised to us was former German colonies, land in Asia, minor, parts of Dalmatia and parts of Albania were not given to us and our savior knew how to make things right. With his many talents and strong words, he stirred up workers and aristocrats alike. To protect our glorious, fastest country, we needed an army, so we created a militia. The people in these armies are known as black shirts, and their job is to do whatever is necessary in order to keep our glorious leader unquestioned in his power. Our glorious leader came into power in 1922, and Italy has never been in better hands. Breaking news here in Africa. It appears that Mussolini has decided to get revenge on Ethiopia. I guess Italy never did get over the failure to conquer Ethiopia in the 1890s. Anyways, 215 days ago, on October 3rd, 1935, Mussolini loaded his soldiers into trucks and invaded Ethiopia. According to my source, Ethiopia reached out to the League of Nations for help. That is correct. Ethiopia pleaded for help, so the League of Nations has officially condemned the attack as an unethical abuse of the week. Wait, that's it? Aren't you going to stop Italy or at least give them support? No, haven't you heard? International tension between Western democracies and fascist states is already on the rise. As expressed by France and Britain, by allowing Mussolini to take Ethiopia, peace can hopefully be kept in Europe. So you're just going to let Ethiopia fall? Yes. Uh-huh. Wait, hold on. I'm getting a fresh report from Ethiopia's capital. The Italian army has officially destroyed the Ethiopian resistance and taken control of the capital. As his first act, Mussolini has declared Victor Emmanuel the third, the new king of Ethiopia, and sightings confirm that the old emperor, Hadi Cecily, has gone into exile. So after seven months and two days of fighting, Ethiopia finally fell today, May 5th, 1935. We seem to be losing connection. I have just returned after taking a trip through the Italian countryside, and the conditions that people are living in now are very different from how it was before Mussolini's takeover. As a dictator, he outlawed democracy and all the other political parties. And if Mussolini discovered anyone trying to disobey his wishes, then they would be sent to jail by Italy's secret police. Even I could be jailed. Should the government discover that I've made this video, all forms of media in Italy have been run over by government censorship. In order to ensure that only pro-fascist broadcasts are released, the penalty for disobeying the government could involve isolation, torture, or even death. I've witnessed many so-called troublemakers get tied to a tree, <laughs> forced to drink a pint or two of casual oil, and then forced to eat a live toad or frog. So we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Now that we solved that problem, here's a word from our sponsors. Are you sitting at home bored? Yeah. Then I suggest you get this new book. What? A book? Yes, this new book by Benito Mussolini. What? What's the book about? The Doctrine of Fascism is an essay attributed to the one and only Benito Mussolini. Where do I get my copy? Get your copy at the Mussolini bookstore before they all sell out. Let's go! Take my money, I want three! Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed this newscast.